Hey everybody, what's up? It's Tipping the Scales. I'm your girl, Lashay Lashay Dawson. Oh, fancy. <laughs> I'm Tania <laughs> Rivers, also known as T. What is up, tippers? She always says it's fancy when I say Lachey Lachey. <laughs> it just sounds fancy to me. <laughs> What's going on, huh? my tea? I know. What's up with you, lady? Oh, you know, just uh, still Busy. trying to get my voice back. Trying to, I'm still raspy a little bit, but I know you sound um, so like sexy, like Anita Baker. I said that before. Like sultry. <laughs> oh, well, sultry. Anita Baker, Sade, all those oh, are like oh, my Sade. idols. I miss her. She's actually going on tour, I think. So I sent it to my mom. I was like, we need to do this. She was like, yeah, we need to do this. Oh, so. can you maybe, include, can I go with you guys? Yes. Yes. No, literally. Oh, yes. we have so much yes. fun. I, I feel like okay. we need to do an episode with your mom at the Sade concert. Oh my God. I would love to do an episode with Lori. That'd be great. Mm-hmm. We should do an episode with our moms just period. Like okay. we should, we should make questions and then like rapid fire and then like ask them questions. Oh, I That'll can't wait. She come like, T is legit Antonio crazy. <laughs> <laughs> a mess. I'm down Hilarious. for it. Okay, let's do it. Um, so I know you did. Today? First of all, can I just compliment your your face? Looks look extra spicy and cute today. Oh, the thank eyes. you. And I, I, I didn't <laughs> I didn't say anything. I put lashes on. I never put lashes. Oh, that's what I <laughs> <laughs> that was. I was trying to do lashes, so I'm glad you said something because then I feel like. Of course, I can see you did something special with your eyes. And look, today I didn't have time because I'm just like crazy busy. So no lashes from T today. No, 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 no. <laughs> I never do lashes, but um, I wanted to try it because I keep buying them in every city I go to uh, saying I'm going to use it, but then I don't want to look like an idiot. So I was like, why not do it no, on the pod? So, when your just... eyes look so cute. You just got a little, little extra special going on little with the pop. eyes. Okay. <laughs> I'm feeling it. <laughs> so what's been going on? I know you've just been like super busy, right? Yeah, super busy. Um, I've just been manifesting. I've just been mm, planning and it. getting my life together and just trying to get a routine again. You know, we go through that cycle of we have a really good routine and then we fall off with a really good routine. Yeah. So I'm just in that cycle of trying to be a better Shay. I think I told you that last time. I love it. Um, so I'm continuing that and it's working. And so I'm just, you know, trying to doing you trying to manifest good vibes all over. Love it. Um, so speaking of edit that out. <laughs> speaking of just, I just love how you're, you know, one of the things I had complimented you before on is just looking holistically at your life and always mm. looking at how can I be better? What do I need to adjust? Not being complacent. Like that's just who you are. And I love that. Mm. And I think what would be helpful for us to explore today is finding your purpose. Like yeah. how many of us feel like we're walking in our purpose right now at this moment. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I wonder because when I was a kid, I didn't really know, but I knew, you know, like, have you ever read The Alchemist? No. Okay. Well, I'm going to send you The Alchemist, but um, it talks about your personal legend. No. It talks about going out there in the world. Well, alchemy it talks about, um, knowing you're meant for more, living in your purpose. It's the exact same thing. And so I've always, as a little girl, had this in me to like, I knew I was meant for more. I just didn't know what that meant, how it meant, where it was. Yeah. And I, and I discovered it through basketball. And that was to, I can't say heal people, but to be able to, I, I don't know. I just have this thing where I can help pull things out of people. And so I've been able to do that with you through podcasting. Yeah. I've been able to do that with coaching. I've been able to do that with just connecting and, and helping protect and guide and educate athletes Sure. Um, on a pro pathway. So it's like sometimes your personal legend does not have to do with exactly the career or the job. It's your response to it or how you do what you do with inside of the context of what, what you're doing, if that makes sense. Makes 100% sense. Yeah. And I think when we wake up every morning and we ask ourselves, Are we loving what we're doing with our life? And if we start with, because, you know, of course, there's so many different aspects of our lives. We've got our personal lives. We've got our professional lives. We've got our, you know, our own individual, like, personal goals that we're trying to achieve. Like, I feel like there's just so much that we have to deal with as humans. And, but when you wake up in the morning and are you motivated to get out of the bed? Are you motivated to go into your job every day? Are you motivated to just live your life? And if that answer is not yes, then I think you need to explore other things. And 
you know, I get asked this all the time is, how do I know if I'm in the right job? And I always ask, and I go back and I ask you the question, are you passionate about what you do? Because the things that you're passionate about, you're going to love mm-hmm. doing. And it's going to feel like you're not going into a job every single day. It's going to feel yeah. like you're doing what you were meant to be doing in your life. Yeah. And, it, yeah. and, that, and not only does it about finding your purpose, but it brings you joy. It brings you happiness. And that's how I feel in the space that I'm in right now. Now, of course, every job, every employer, everything brings about its own challenge, unique challenges. But the right. work that I do fulfills me. It like energizes me and it yep. excites me. So when I get up in the yep. morning, I'm excited about the work that I do. And if you're not tippers or anyone who's listening or checking this out on YouTube, then I suggest that you start to find, you know, let's kind of do that list thing. And you're listing out what makes you happy. And don't think about the money because the money will come, you know, that yeah. eventually will come because when you- The passion are, will lead to that money. A hundred percent. Yeah. The passion will lead to the money. And if you're not there, then how do you get there? Yeah. And I like you, you pointed, you said something like getting out of bed in the morning. Mm. Now I'm going to be transparent. Sometimes oh, it is hard for me to get out of bed in the morning to do a job, right? But that's the job, but that's not my personal legend. That's not my purpose. So I have to refocus myself and say, I may be going to a job, but what's my personal legend? And it's people, it's humans, it's helping people get through, helping people do the things that they want to do. I can yes. do that wherever I go. Yeah. So I have to refocus and say, Shay, yes, you're going to the job, mm-hmm. but your purpose is walking all around here. Every time somebody passes you, every time somebody interacts with you, making sure that they have a good experience and that I can set them on a way if they need something. Because a lot of people do come to me, but I do, I think I vibrate that. But at the same time, it's like, I can't lose sight of that. It's not the job. It's the people. Mm. It's the relationship. It's the connection. That is what wakes me up in the morning. That's why I get up. Not to go to the job, but to be with people, to connect with people. And so sometimes I have to remember like, yeah, I'm upset at this person. Or yeah, you know, I feel like I'm stagnant in this way. Or yeah, I feel like I'm not growing. Or yeah, I'm not, I feel like I'm not challenged. But I always know that if I'm not any of those things, what I can focus on is what I really came there to do. Mm-hmm. And so that helps me jump back on track. Absolutely. And then all of a sudden, all the accolades, all the things that we deem as successful in society come with that mm-hmm. when I refocus what my purpose is. So I think finding that little thing within what you do every day is what keeps you going and keeps you recalibrating. Like I had to refresh. I had to get new energy. And yes. then I came back. Yeah. You know? And I think what was profound and what you just said is recalibration, because oftentimes we get just caught up in in life and life passes us by. We're just doing and we're Mm -hmm. not, you know, like we're just doing, we're not really thriving. And to get to thriving takes time, but Mm -hmm. we should be feeling very fulfilled in our, our relationships. We should be feeling being fulfilled in our lives. And again, if we're not, then that's when we know we need to make some adjustments. But the good thing is, is that we can adjust. We don't have to settle for anything in life that doesn't bring us happiness. And I always like to start with the, with the professional lives because, you know, you know, I don't believe in a balance as it relates to work. You always hear me say, how do we harmonize our worlds together? Mm -hmm. But Mm -hmm. I also think, you know, when you think about work, we spend so much of our time there. We oh. are there, I don't know, like some of us more than eight hours a day. It's like 10, 12 hour days. And right. all that time kind of shifts and we find our time working more than we do the other things in our lives. So because that takes up such a big block of our time, then that has to be something that we are aligned with in terms of right. being fulfilled and finding the purpose in what you're doing. When you go, whatever, whatever that gives you the, the bag, AKA a paycheck, then you need to be fulfilled in that because that takes up way too much of your time to be doing something you don't love. And yeah. that doesn't mean you're going to change it overnight, but you sure as hell better get a very good plan on what yeah. you're doing to get out of a space that does not bring you joy in that job, period. I agree. Because the money yeah. is money. 
right? Like money is important. Don't get me wrong. And I, you know, I need it for a variety of reasons to live. Okay. Me too. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Let's stop it. Okay. Be mistaken. (laughs) To live the lifestyle that I want to live, need the money, right? Mm -hmm. However, your sanity, your happiness, all of that is more important than money. And again, when you're doing what you love, you're going to go at it more vigorously. You're going to put more time and attention to it. You're going to just be so excited about it that you're going to be more successful in what you do. And then success will equal, quote unquote, the bag. (laughs) The bag. Exactly. And it's very, very important not to chase. Yes. Do not chase anything. Yes. Not a relationship, not a bag, not a job, not a relate, not, not a, a platonic relationship or a business relationship. Or Literally, friendship that's not or friendship. You. If you're chasing, yeah. yeah, it's I learned that actually gambling. Love that. You know, it's like oh, we're playing roulette and it hits red. You're like oh, I'm gonna go in black, or or let's say I bet everything and then I lose it and I bet it back. No, you do not chase. Do not chase. You continue to just take steps forward in your purpose, being who you are. Yes, vibrating who you are, and then listening to the universe on how you're vibrating. How you're showing up. The world will tell you. People will tell you. When you when I came on here with these eyelashes and you was like, Shay, oh my God. Oh my God, girl, you look at Kim. Right? <laughs> and I'm like, thank you, T. I love you. Boom. Listening. Yes. Right? Yes. Understand. Maybe I'll tr- it's trial and error. I've never done lashes before, but sometimes you got to try stuff, right? So it's the same yes. thing in your life. Yes. You don't, I'm not chasing anything. When I go into mm. rooms, love that. people who have bigger bags than me or doing more than me in society. I'm just happy to be there. Mm. I just want to meet one person. I want to soak it up. I want to have a good relationship or at least a conversation. Mm -hmm. And I'm not chasing. I'm not trying to be one of them. I'm trying to be Shay. I'm trying to absorb. I'm trying to be a lifelong learner. I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to show up. If you invite me to a birthday party, if you invite me somewhere, I'm going to be there. Because you know what? Every time you show up when it's unexpected, when you don't know what to expect, better things happen. Mm. So if you start to do that, Follow the passion, follow the conversation, follow the organic and genuine connections. You will literally be on your way. And that's literally how I've gotten every job. That's literally how I have every relationship because I don't expect anything and I'm not chasing anything. and I'm not trying to be somebody that I'm not. Yeah. Wow. Mic drop on that in terms of (laughs) don't be chasing anything. Don't chase. Right. I love that Mm -hmm. because. How many times, not even just in personal relationships, but even at work, you feel like you're chasing. You're constantly having to prove yourself. And at some point in time, any relationship, like it's bilateral, right? Like whatever you give, you need to be receiving. And that being a recipient at work is more than just being paid, right? Like that's what you have earned. However, you still should feel valued, feel appreciated, have an opportunity to share your voice and not just share your voice, but know that's being taken seriously. So that's why it's that time to figure it out. And if you're not where you need to be, then start to game plan. You know, we talk a lot about tapping into your network, having some conversations. So you know, if you know that, hey, I want to be an entrepreneur and Mm -hmm. whatever it is, I want to open up a shoe store, Mm -hmm. then How do you start tapping into having conversations with other entrepreneurs to Mm -hmm. understand the ups and downs? Because entrepreneurship is no joke Mm -hmm. and you have to work really hard at it because you're going to have some some high highs and some super low lows. And you got to have the get get that gut prepared for that. Keep going. Right. Mm -hmm. But how do you start having conversations with it? How do you start looking into um, grants? You know, I was just talking to someone the other day about um, black minority owned businesses, small businesses that they're going to be giving out more grants this year. As you look ahead in 2023, I saw that Macy's is going to be um, investing a, a nice amount. I forgot. I can look it up a good amount um, of money into minority owned businesses. And that's wow. fantastic. That is amazing. Yeah. I'm going to look it up right now. Cause I just, yeah, look it up. <laughs> so that's really interesting too, because it's like capitalizing on the moments. Yes. Being ready So you don't got to get ready, right? So if you already start building something small and incrementally over time, grants like that are going to pop up. You know, money is going to be available to grab so that you can continue to do the things that you, your purpose through that mission, right? So some people have businesses, but 
Sometimes it's not about the actual business itself. It's the service that you provide. Yes. And the service that you provide, if it's rooted in your purpose, it's going to be successful. A lot of times people get have fear because it's not going to work or, you know, people speak their, you know, anxieties and their fears on them to stop people from doing things that I think will drive them forward or put them in a different place than that person. Right. And so a lot of the times you have people in your world, too, who will be afraid to do it themselves and they'll speak that negative stuff towards you. But you can't listen to that. Yeah. If, it, if it's in your gut, if it's in your heart, you got to do it. Like God didn't give us ideas to be dormant. Right. Yeah. And I, and I go through that all the time. I'm like, oh, my God, I got another idea. I got mm. I got notes. I got to bring life into to the idea. Under- yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's not going to exactly. just happen overnight by itself. Like mm-hmm. you have to put the work in. And yeah. you know what else? You have to be prepared to fail people. And FYI, it's $30 million that Macy's 30 mil? 30 million that, Ma- that Macy's investing um, to fund minority minority owned businesses. Um, there was an article um, that was just recently published by the New York Times. So check it out. Um, the tagline is Macy's plan to invest millions to fund minority owned businesses. So yeah, we can probably put that link in the bio. Yeah. The, uh, so for folks yeah. who are out there and want to start your own business, go for it. Um, again, I never, you know, because I'm just a very strategic thinker and planner, I never say, I always think you got to have a plan. So yeah, I think that you can start your business and, you know, and, and, and maybe still work because, you know, there's always time. However, you got to know when it's a good time to make that, that, so that transition, you know, well, if you're you know going to say, be an entrepreneur. You got to have a nine to five and a five to nine. Okay. You got to know when you can, <laughs> when you can make that full transition because you still have to pay your bills. You still have to live, but you also, you cannot be afraid to fail. Failure yeah, is part of the that. process. Yeah. Anything that you, you work really hard at that you change, you're going to fail at some point in your life. You know, that saying that I mentioned before is the setbacks that are going to be, it's the setbacks in life that, that best prepares you for your comeback. And, yeah. and it's real. Like you're, and you got to have it. You're going to fail. You're going to fail. That's that recalibration. Fail. Yeah. That's part, you of gotta your, fail that's part of your journey. So that you can recalibrate. Yeah. <laughs> that's Literally. part of your journey. Listen, I was reading something um, this morning mm-hmm. about your life purpose. Who you read in the morning? Wow. I know. You're so you know me, special. I'm like, I wake up. I may do a little workout. I do a little yoga. Because you get up on 10? I Because, you know, I, I get up on like 100. <laughs> and I'm always up like with mad energy. Um, but this morning I turned the energy into like, you know, I didn't get a chance to work out. So I'm going to try to work out later uh, before the Sixers game, by the way. Um, they're playing this. Uh, Sixers playing the Suns tonight. Where? At home? or at, in uh, Here in Philly. Ah! I'm so excited for you to go back. Wow. Okay. Anyway, I'll we'll be back in the house. Let me make sure we'll talk about that later. <laughs> I know. So anywho, um, this is something I want to share that I read. It's about your okay. life purpose. It says, your life purpose. You feel energized about its possibility, even if it's simultaneously terrifying. Remember, it's that failure component we talked about there. Correct. The same opportunity keeps coming up to you in different waves, ways forms and versions. So how many times do you want to do something? And Shay talks about that universe and it's, and it's in front of you, but you're just like, ah, you keep ignoring it when you know it's pulling at you. Like, you know, you have to take that leap, right? Yeah. Um, three more. One, it keeps coming up unprovoked in conversations, even with strangers. So how many times, because again, that passion you can't keep that passion bottled up. It's almost like it's hard. It's like a flame, that like a fire that burns. It's hard to keep it contained and you must burst that thing out. That's yeah. part of the process. That's, that's or your Or the purpose. environment. Yeah. It continues. You're like, this looks familiar. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm having deja vu. It's like, because it's talking to you. Exactly. Okay, two more. You wanted to do some form of it since childhood. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Right? Preach. <laughs> How many times have you said is, I wish I could have done that. If I could do it all over again, I would do that. I always wanted to be a lawyer and you went to college. Guess what? It's not too late to go back to law school. There are, there are programs out there that you can go part-time. There are programs that maybe there's scholarships. I don't know enough about the scholarship world, but it's always worth looking into it to see if it's a possibility. But those things that you passionate about that you love to do it, you probably mentioned at some point in your life when you were said when you was a child. As well. When I grow up, I will do 
X, Y, and Z, mm -hmm. right? And the last and regret. one. Oof, yeah, right. Just get the chills, right? Yeah. The, the last one, which is my favorite of out of all five of them that I just mentioned, is you fantasize about it often. Right? <laughs> How many times? You're speaking to me. You're right? Speaking to me. How many times do you fantasize about something that you want, that you want, that that you know it's almost like a part of your inner being. And and not only that, the, it didn't, what it didn't say is, what about that inner voice that talks to you? How many times do we ignore? That we ignore it. Right? I'll be telling you too. <laughs> you do. I'll be telling you. <laughs> you do. You do. <laughs> Calm down, Shorty. You do. You do. You do. <laughs> you do be telling me. T, your inner voice just told you that. Why do you think you need, because you know, some, sometimes we feel like we need validation, confirmation, <laughs> like stop it. Your inner like voice. Your girl is talking to you. She's speaking right here. She to needs... you. Listen right. to right. that inner voice because it's there mm. to guide you. It's that, um, it's that intuition that we, again, you go back to. Now, sometimes we got to be careful though. Like I must say one caveat to that is be careful with the inner voice because your inner voice can speak positively. And if there's you don't two. be careful that there's two, that, that inner voice can speak negative life. Like we let our thoughts, so because I am guilty of that too, I'll think one thing and I'll run rampant with it. And it may be maybe coming from insecurity. Maybe it's coming from past experiences, but you know, that inner voice starts out. So be careful that you know it, where that voice is coming from. Is it coming from a Which positive place is? or is it becoming, yeah. or is it coming from a place of fear? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And sometimes to distinguish the different voices, get still. Mm. Be still. Mm. Sit in your house. Love it. Don't go do too much. Yeah. If you need to focus and you need to listen to that voice, you need to be still and you need to understand. Be still. How am I listening? What am I doing? Am I doing too much? Am I not doing enough? Mm. And then you'll know. Then you'll know. Just listen. How many times that we don't take time and just Shutting all the outside noises out. You know, some people love to meditate, and guess what? It is hard. It is one. It's a. It's one of the hardest things I ever had to do because you know I want to learn how to to do it. I want to learn how to right? guide people. I, I think I do it on my own, but I want to yeah. love to learn how to guide people. I, I know you're into that stuff too. I run a thousand miles per hour, and I sometimes have to just quiet down, right? Center myself. Turn off the computer. Put my phone down, close that laptop, shut off everything around me. Sometimes it's just sitting like in a dark room right and just focusing on my thoughts, just sitting there and meditate and try to flush out everything as much as you can. Because we, we're thinking a thousand thoughts per minute. It's insane how many thoughts that we could think of right. and or that we have. It's like, how do you quiet those thoughts so you can listen to that inner voice and so you can meditate and just focus on you. How many times yeah. do we do we do we do enough to focus on ourselves, right? Yeah, I mean, I feel you. I'm I'm in that place now. Like I am like I would say I'm like just spiraling, not in a bad way, but just yeah. like swirling with thoughts, with so much decisions with you know, there's lots of outstanding things on the schedule. We've got different guests coming on like and every day it's like, okay, it's a lot, but just quiet it down. What's, what's in front of you? What's priority? What's next? How can you prepare? How can you silence some of that? Because even when you're asleep, I know you have the same thing where you're just sitting and you're like, okay. I got the to thoughts. Do that. Right? That's why I mentioned, if those of you who didn't, you know, I'm always, um, I always call out the importance of going back and listen to episodes that we've already recorded because yeah. it's, 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 it's awesome to have this library, this almost like this information warehouse for you to go back and, and check us out. So a uh, previous episode, we talked about um, cannabis, something that I believe in and, you know, I won't go into it. People go check out the episode. episode. By the way. It's, it's, yeah, they loved it. Yeah. I got many, many texts. Yeah. But people are afraid to talk about it, but I'm not. But that's mm -hmm. why, again, I found cannabis because I cannot shut my mind off. Mm -hmm. At night when I lay down touch my head on the pillow, I'm thinking about a gazillion things. I'm thinking about tomorrow. Right. 
what I need to accomplish. I'm thinking about my first meeting. I'm thinking about my presentation I have to do. I'm thinking about all the things that's pulling me in a thousand different directions and I can't focus. So cannabis helps me shut myself down so I can get your sleep because sleep is important, people. You got to recharge. Those batteries, <laughs> could you imagine if you had batteries that just never would die? Like you got this this batteries that just never be charged, <laughs> never needs charging, right? That would be a good movie, actually. <laughs> they think about your cell phone and you have to plug it up and charge it. Your bodies need to be charged as well. And part of that charging is sleep. And we have to make time for that so that you can tap into finding your purpose is you yep. gotta get sleep. And sometimes, I mean, I've heard executives say, Sleep's overrated. I'll sleep when I'm dead. My brother even yeah. said that before. Shout out yeah, to my I, little I hear brother. A lot of He's crazy. But he said, I'll sleep when I'm dead. I'm like, not nah, okay. Mm-hmm. You you will get there sooner than later if you keep going <laughs> on the pace that you are and not giving your your body the attention that it needs. We can't yeah. find our purpose. We can't do the things that excites us if we don't take the time taking care of our bodies. And then, that doesn't mean, I mean, I think about the past week. I was traveling so much. I think my exercise went down the past week. Yeah. And today I was same. like, I need to go get it in today because <laughs> I haven't worked out since my hike that I had posted on my Instagram. Tinia L. Rose. So cute. Come check me out, right? Okay. So. <laughs> no, I feel you. And I've been manifesting the soft life. Like mm. I have been working very hard for a very long time. Yeah. But I am experiencing some burnout. I can't lie. Like mm. I am trying to find ways to get excited about doing the work that I'm doing yeah. because it is so difficult. So many different um, roadblocks and detours and ups, highs and lows working in sports. And I'm like, I need like a detox, Yeah, you know? And so and I what am What does that detox look like for you? Cause that's important. So, and I'm trying to find what it looks like. It's different for me now in this Shay, um, as you yeah. know, I've been through so many transformations, but like a big one this past year, yeah, 2021 to 2022, just discover self-discovery of who I am, like hmm. as a professional, I was battling with like, do I want to be like an executive that like dresses like this? And, and I'm like, no, yeah. I'm no. going to be you. Like I, what speaks to me, like you said, that inner voice, yeah. I'm listening to my inner voice and I'm on sometimes where I am dressing like a certain executive and I am commanding the room or I don't smile as much in rooms with men or, you know, sometimes I bring my warmness. Sometimes I don't like before I'd always have one type of way. And now there's many types of Shay. And so Mm. I would say that I'm trying. Yeah. So I'm just trying to, again, quiet myself and listen. Sometimes I don't have all the answers, but I'm not doing the same thing, getting the same results. Mm -hmm. I'm trying different things to try and get different results. Yeah. Saying, Oh, I like how that feels. Mm-hmm. I like, I don't like that. So I'm working on finding this harmony between who I am as a professional and who I am as, you know, Shay, and then trying to harmonize the two. Um, because where I'm at too, once you achieve certain success in sports, it's like, now where you go, right? Now, so after innovating next? and helping to create a new league yeah. that never existed before, you know, now we've got a TV deal and a, well, streaming deal. And it's like, okay, well, what can we do next? And so working on a new project and is that going to give me the same life and same purpose? So it's, it's, it's a constant conversation with myself yeah. and a constant like that's killing work. things that that's don't that re- yeah. That's that calibration that you talked about. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And that's, and that's important. And I love what you said, Shay, in that try new things, people. Yeah. You have to try new things. And again, maybe you don't be successful in the first, in, you know, the first two, third go around, but who cares? You got to keep going after, especially if you know that it brings you joy, that it fuels your fire, you know, that it basically is something that you believe in, something that you've Mm -hmm. always wanted to do. You know, think about that. Ask yourself, what is it that I've always wanted to do, but I've been afraid of doing because of X? Because yeah. it's our fears that will hold us back in life. You know, I'll tell you, there was a time where I had a very imminent fear of flying. I did mm-hmm. not want to fly at all. You know that, Shay. So mm-hmm. prior to Mikkel being traded to Phoenix, 
I've flown probably two to three times in my entire life. That's crazy. And I just didn't believe, I just wouldn't do it. Now you ask me, I don't even know. I have, I looked at my <laughs> app. I have 200,000 nautical miles this year already. You go, T. Right? Crazy. Give, give, give me some of those. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane how much right. I've been traveling, but I was fearful because of a variety of reasons why I wouldn't fly. And now I fly all the time. This week I have a conference in New Orleans. Next week I have the largest cannabis company, MJ BizCon in Vegas. I'm actually a speaker doing a blood brunch there. When is that? Uh, next week, the week okay. of the 14th. That's okay. next week. Um, and then a week after, I'm, you know, it'll be Thanksgiving week and I'm going to go visit my son and make a nice little Thanksgiving dinner. And yeah. I look at three weeks in a row. I mean, I've been flying for so much and I would have not been able to do the job that I'm in today, no way, without being able to fly. I would not be able to visit my son right. who lives on all the halfway across the country if I let that fear get in the way. So yeah. just like you can't be afraid to fail, you can't be afraid to face your fears and shut your fears down. Yeah. You are in control of you. You yeah. are in control of you. You got to give him that finger on the forehead. Yeah. <laughs> but also the other side of your thing is that you also are living in your purpose, which is allowing you to fly. Yeah. All over the place. Yeah. Your son literally yeah. drives you. That is, oh, that is, that is your purpose. That's my purpose. Just to be a mom and to raise an amazing human being to do what he's doing. Yeah. And then also your love for people, which allows you to work in HR and go and find and discover and meet new people and bring it back to the organization to create better cultures and better environments for other people. Yeah. You're not chasing to go in Vegas. You're not chasing to go to Phoenix. You're not, you weren't chasing to be a mom. That is your purpose. And yeah. so sometimes you don't have you don't have to chase because it'll yeah. come. Okay. You know? Well, I don't think it gets any better than that. Shay always has the <laughs> the nice, like she always brings us home so eloquently. <laughs> so listen, tippers, um, thank you. You know, we always want to thank you because we're all in this together and we appreciate you following us. We appreciate you listening to our podcast for our, you know, just checking out our episodes in our library. We appreciate you and again. If you haven't found your purpose, today is the day. Don't wait another day. And thank you for following Tip and the Hit Sketch Podcast. Hit us up if you want to talk about yes, that. Like we're, we're here for that too. So, yeah. okay. And I love you, T, and have a good day. I love you too. And so we love happy you to too, see Tippers. You. Bye. Bye.